Francis. A bigger bat. You might be right, Ronks. It's Dr. Ronks' world famous how to make things look bigger. All right, team, come on over. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Do you not want to see a trick? Which one of these bats is the biggest? Do you think this one in the middle is the longest? Bottom. Bottom. What do you think? Which bat is the biggest? Mm. Top, mm. middle, mm. or bottom? Most people think the middle one is the longest. Am I right? Yeah. Well, unbelievably, all of the bats are exactly the same size. Who thinks that they know the reason why our eyes are fooling us into believing that they're all different lengths? Caden? Mm. The way the bars are placed. That's a really good answer. Ben? It's mm. an optical illusion. Caden and Ben are spot on. Our brains have been fooled into thinking that all of these bats are different lengths. And it's to do with how the balls are placed at the end. And a lot of you thought that this one here was the longest bat. And that's because the balls are fanned out at the end. And that tricks the brain into thinking that it's the longest. Your eyes are drawn to the end of the balls rather than the end of the bats. When the balls are pointed outwards, it seems to extend the end of the bat, making it look longer. When the balls are pointed inwards, it reduces the size of the bat, tricking your eyes into thinking it's smaller. They're all the same length. Pretty cool, eh? Forget about a bigger bat. I need loads of bats. <laughs> 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 Our next patient thought they were going to have another normal day. Normal day. But they ended up in the accident in emergency department. <laughs> let's go meet them. Yes, let's. In Sheffield Children's Hospital, 11-year-old Harvey is in with a bandaged bonce. Uh, is he a half-dressed Egyptian mummy? No, Zand. I've got an open cut on my head. Ooh, nasty. By getting hit with a wooden cricket bat at school. Ooh, and how did that happen? I'm stumped. Hmm. It was a beautiful sunny day and Harvey was playing cricket. Oh, was he at Lord's playing in the ashes? Unfortunately not. Was he in Barbados on the beach with the waves lapping at his feet? Uh, no, he was in a concrete yard. Oh. Harvey was playing cricket with his class in PE. There he is. He was waiting in line for his turn to bat. He was up next. <coughs> I hope he doesn't get a duck. <coughs> Batter was at the crease. The ball was bowled. She swung hard but missed and hit Harvey's head. Ouch! I touched my eye where it hurt and I, I looked at my hand and there were blood, so I was quite surprised. I bet you were. Here's Dr Jen Worthy to check out Harvey's head. What's happened to you today? Uh, well, I've got hit in the side of the head with a cricket bat. The person who was batting missed the ball and followed through right into my uh, eye. And they missed the ball and, and hit your face. Them. What a rubbish shot. Yes, it was a rubbish shot. Dr. Jen does a series of checks for any broken bones. I'm just going to press down here. Is that all just, right? Just that left. And tests Harvey's brain is functioning as normal. Well, can you do this like a chicken? <laughs> I'm going to try and push your arms down. You've got to keep the chicken pose, OK? Do not stop being a chicken. That's good. Then puff your cheeks out like a hamster. Chicken, hamster. This is turning into a zoo. And then can you frown for me? I look very angry, like someone hit you in the head with a cricket bat. That's good. Good angry face, Harvey. I would like just to do an X-ray of the bones in his face, just because he's tender, sort of when I was pressing just down there. Yeah. Could be a little fracture there. Then it'll be a case of sticking you back together. Harvey's had his head X-rayed. Really still there, please. And then Dr Jen assesses the results. 
So this is your face. So this is where your eyes are. This bit that was sore is round here. Yep. And I can't see any fractures there. There's like a nice smooth line. We're looking right up Harvey's hooter. But it's worth checking because sometimes it can cause problems with your eyes. With no bones broken, Nurse Gina cleans Harvey's cut and steri strips his battered head. Not too frustrating with all that round your eye. Good. All patched up, it's time to go home. So, what have you learnt, fella? Make sure you know when to run or not, because you might get him in the face of the cricket ball. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Bye! Bye.